lot of people out there dreaming. They don't put the work behind the dream. That dream has become their fucking master. Ran by a graveyard and I looked out there and I look out there, I'm like, man, I wonder how many of you motherfuckers in there and just are so upset with how you lived your life. Regret how you lived it. And I'm running a 300 pound man thinking, man, don't fucking die like this, bro. Life isn't fair. It shouldn't be fair. It's a trial ground, it's a testing ground. It's built to make us harder, to test us, to drive us. Mentality is the only thing that gets us through life. We are all underdogs in life. Even the baddest person in the world should think that way. So you should always have, I've never arrived mentality. No matter where you come from, the sewer, or wherever you think you're from, nothing should be able to hurt you. If you believe that, it starts to become true. You wake up in the morning and you don't want to do something, you don't care enough about yourself. And that's what you need to really research is, man, why am I not doing this for myself? Because that is, that is the number one purpose in life, to better oneself. So that's the only purpose I need. There's always someone out there working harder than you. I'm haunted by that mother Knowing that someone out there is willing to forgo personal desires and comforts, forgo sleep, for whatever it takes to be better, to be the best. In life, a lot of times, a lot of us have that person out there. There may not be a name or a face to him, but he exists. Who are you on those days you don't want to do things? It's easy to conquer when it's good weather. You got good sleep, you feel great. Those are the easy days to conquer. But who are you on those days when all hell's broke loose? Body's tough, sore. You're depressed. You're miserable. Who are you on those days? Life is the most brutal endurance sport of all time. And that's what you have to love about it. Life continues to attack us. There are no f***ing timeouts. Who are you out there who are trying to get better? Who are looking for more? Who on January 1, don't give a f***. It's just a Sunday to you. If you out there, we're waking up tired of being a bitch. We're waking up tired of being afraid. We're waking up tired of being a victim. Those of you out there who aren't half-stepping, I appreciate you all. Stay hard. The one mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. There will be professional athletes, but still I grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. And that one day, you see me on a dark alley, running at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. The problem that most of us have is we think that we're all alone. We think that we're the only ones going through all this stuff. Your, your vision becomes very narrow. And I was able to look down at the world, and we are, all of us are jacked up. Some of us hide it better than others, but we're all jacked up. And once you realize that, you know, you gotta come out of your shell. You gotta accept who you are. You gotta accept the demons that life gave you. You gotta be able to look them in the mirror, look them in the eyes, say, okay, I'm gonna start fixing these things. But if you think that you're by yourself, the reality of your life becomes very, very horrible. And you're not. We are all jacked up. And once you realize that, man, you just, you don't, you don't even look at the crowd anymore. You look at your own race, you do your own race, you do your own thing, and you finally find out who you're supposed to be in this life. So many people that have the ability and just refuse to get off that couch, refuse to study a few more hours, refuse to go deeper, to go further. It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. Biggest advice is shut off your phones, shut off all technology, find a, a dark, quiet place for you to think. You have to think first. And then when you think, you have to think, okay, what's my purpose in life? From your purpose, now you found, okay, I found my purpose. What are my goals now? Can you find your goals? Now you gotta sit down and plan. Plan, how am I gonna accomplish these goals? Then from there, the hardest part is you have to put the action in. And that's where everybody fails. You're missing the story, man. Am I happy? What the f do you think? Don't misunderstand the passion in which I speak for not being intensely happy. Happiest person in the world.
but I'm not done. So I'm not going to speak to you like, oh man, everything is great. No, I have a lot more to do. A lot more to do. Become a better person, how you gain mental toughness, how you become the person you want to be, is constantly facing the things that you don't want to face. If you constantly run away from things that you don't want to face, how is there growth? I'm always sharpening my sword. How I sharpen my sword is I have a mentality of my refrigerator is never full. I've never arrived, and every time I get close to the top of a mountain, I fall back down on purpose. I believe that true growth is at scratch. There has to be friction in your life for you to be able to move forward. Life is short. Life is precious. Spend that time with the people you love, the people you want to give that time to. Real friends, real family. Everybody else is really sucking up the air you breathe. A lot of you are trying to find inspiration and motivation with a depressed mindset. Put challenges in front of yourself. When you put a challenge in front of yourself and you attack it, that's when you find inspiration. Stay hard. We're all f***ed up. Stop judging yourself against other f***ed up people who have hidden it better than you. That's all they've done. They've mastered it better than you have, and now they're flipping it back on you and saying you're f***ed up. Life is one big head game. Once you learn to play the motherfucking head game, you're no longer a game anymore at all. You start living your life.